Hello everybody, praise be to God and welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We are nearing the very end of the fifth chapter. This is Cortez's, Cortez's ship, all we have to do is enter inside and take the crystal star. Let's do that. Oh, you ignored my warning. Oh, come inside the door and be lost in darkness. So, I'll just see my equip badges. Don't need multi-bounce for this battle. I also won't need power jump. Charge and charge P could be useful. Quick change will be useful. Alright, this looks pretty good. That piercing blow. Power smash will be good enough. Do I not have Happy Flower? I don't have Happy Flower. Well, shoot. I guess I'll go with... Super Appeal P. And I'll keep Power Jump on. Alright. Oh, look at that room. Oh, come into my... <coughs> Tired of this spooky oo business. I am a pirate, blasted. Pirates do not moan. I am a cold blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot, not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure! And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Speak! I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. Yo ho 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 ho. Welcome to the fight against Cortez! Can't flee this fight. So Cortez is a really intimidating and awesome opponent. As you can see, he's got four different weapons in his hand. And we're gonna attack, damage him by attacking this bone pile over here. Alright, let's tattle on this guy. That's Cortez! He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the island! Max HP is 20, attack is 4, and defense is 1. Only 20 HP. His HP may seem low, but he's a spirit, so even when his HP hits 0, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He's as tough and scary as he looks. I'd say just keep damaging him, and sooner or later he'll go down for good. Let's give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. Oh yeah. He's hard to defend against. So now we get to choose which partner to use against him. For this first phase, let's use Bobbery. Ooh, look at that scimitar go! Alright. Let's get rid of Cortez. Also, how about that music in the background? So every time you kill him, he comes back in with a different form. His second form is not as bad as his first form is, to be perfectly honest, because his weapons aren't able for him to be used. That made no sense. He can't use his weapons in this form. Oh, Cortez is dizzy, apparently. So now for this form, I like to swap to Vivian, and I generally keep her here for the rest of the battle. Because burning Cortez is pretty useful. And this is what makes him dangerous. He can boost his attack power by 4. So on that note, we're going to try out Vivian's special move that she comes with. Which is Shade Fist, and then the other one that she has is Veil. Which basically works like Out of Sight did from the original Paper Mario, where you, it makes both of you transparent for this turn, but then sacrifices both of your next turns. So, let's use it on Mario. Tap the buttons in order as they appear on screen, and you will hide yourselves from attacks. 
So now that attack doesn't actually damage us. But again, we immediately lose our next turn. But he's just going to use that to charge up anyways. And we can kill him this turn just by normal attacking him and then Shade Fisting. Also, amazing use of all the different, like, island instruments in this battle theme. We got, like, the Congo drums and all that. Really makes for great atmospheric battle music. And Cortez has fallen apart. But he's not done yet. Not even close. This form is the crowd by the bulky bob bomb was blown away and all the punies ran away. This form's kind of tough, because now all of his weapons are their own thing, and all attack. And they deal a lot of damage. I did not want to jump on the Cortez Rapier, I wanted to jump just on Cortez. So there are two ways you can get rid of the weapons. You can use Flurry's Gale Force ability, but I like using Fiery Jinx, because this also damages Cortez. Burns everything! So the weapons are gone now, but they come back after a turn or two. And Cortez will bite you every turn. Oh, thank you, Boo! Boos can occasionally emerge from the audience to make either you, your partner, or one of the enemies transparent. This is a great fight. I am a huge fan of the Cortez battle. It's a very fitting end to the pirate world. Arg! I can't take much more of this. This calls for something special. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. Yep, that happened. Ah! And now all of his weapons come back. So he just ate half the audience to completely refill his HP. Yeah, so we're jumping on Cortez this time. So yeah, just proof of concept, if we go to Flurry and use her Gale Force ability... So what we have to do is basically, when the A button is pressed on screen, we have to press it and release it uh, when it gets released. So obviously we can't blow away Cortez, but we blew away all of his weapons, and that does take slightly less FP to use than Fiery Jinx. But I prefer Fiery Jinx for the most part. Who dares raise a soda can against me? Oh, an Axnot, of course, because Axnots can't do anything nice for you. Punch him, Vivian. Ouch. That's actually slightly hard to defend against. Let's power jump him. Goodbye, Cortez. Yeah. And we get 30 star points for that. Yeah! Oh, my treasure! <laughs> you are foolish, amigo, for I am not dead. Well, technically I was already dead, but my spirit endures, tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live, amigo. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You are not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? Huh? You want this, amigo? Oh, yeah. This little rock over here? Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did not really like that one anyway. <laughs> you got a crystal star, and you earned the special move, Sweet Fee. That's basically a better version of Sweet Treat! Yeah. End of chapter! 
Well, that was nice of Cortez. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps these peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fellowship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? Save all game progress up to this point? Yes, please. Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you, amigo! Month star, day, circle star. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the pirate King Cortez! I forget what I gave for Flavio's voice. And Cortez threw us out of the ship. Thank you, Cortez. Very nice of you. So now we have to find a way off the island. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? Yahoo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something. Yes! Now that you've got us some free time, why don't you get us out of here? Um... All that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. I guess that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we going to bust through that solid rock, though? Well, if bobbery, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I also have to check... Oh, sweet, I have room for one more thing in my inventory. This is perfect. Ha! It worked just like I said! Well, me first! Come on, everybody! Let's get out of here! This damp cave air is just not good for my skin! Let's go, Frankie! Everybody out. We're still stranded on the island, but you can at least get some fresh air and sleep in the inn. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you. But I need to leave now. Alright. So wouldn't you know it, that takes us out here. I need another Waka bump. Whack! Ow! Don't hit me! I'm sorry, Waka. I really don't have anything personal against you. But I need your bumps. Uh, so what's going on here? I didn't know what to do stranded in that cave, but the whole thing was rather exciting. I'm just glad my little dame is safe and sound. Ha, Mario! Welcome back to you, me, my stalwart captain. So, have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring, hmm? I just realized I gave Flavio and Cortez pretty much the same voice. I'm sorry. What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding that treasure? And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Ah! What were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Ah, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be... B brother you... What are you doing here? I, I... I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island I came looking. But ghosts attacked us, and our boat just sank. But I've found you now! Huh? Your boat sank too? So you're all stranded here as well? Uh, what was that? What? Hold on! Huh? What was that? Who's shooting? Ah! What is that? Now that's a pirate ship. With the X not logo on it. Pardon me, guys. But I mean, but but So sorry to surprise you. No way. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job on getting the crystal star. Oh yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Oi now, ain't that good old Four Eyes? Yeah, that is Four Eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes, it's dangerous up there. Pfft. 
What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here! Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... Buh, 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 the Great Lord Crump! Oh man, did I fool you! I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the Crystal Star. Because you know what'll happen if you don't. Man, you are a terrible aim with that, man. Starboard cannons! Port cannons! Fire, fire, fire! <laughs> Yikes! Four Eyes was a pirate all this time? Madness! Well, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee! Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship and sail. Wait! I have it! I am a genius! We have a ship at hand, and a fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez! Yes, my brain remembered what you just said. You said that Cortez had a ship! If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavio, what are you talking about? That's crazy! This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? Who will cream you! Cream you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still need you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tons. We must at least try, Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. So, uh, we get Flavio on our team again for a little bit. Well, thankfully, we get this nice little shortcut that goes straight to Cortez. So, let's... It would be a shame not to take advantage of that. Also, we are definitely going to use this health block. Because we actually have another fight coming up, which is pretty tricky. It's actually quite a difficult fight. Oh, oh what? It is you again. Did you forget something? C -c 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 Cortez, I have to speak to you. C -c -c Could you lend me your sh 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 ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? M -m -m my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble and we could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about, Mustachio? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, the ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to power in this ship is the mystical Skull Gem. The Skull Gem? Y you mean this? You! You have the Skull Gem. Uh, yes, yes I do so. Uh, Alright, what say you to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship! I think that is a pretty fair deal, do you not think, or Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock! You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a feat of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach! Wait a moment! Do not make me have Mario trance you again! While he fights you, I will throw this stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? Arrgh! You rattle my bones, Senor Peacock! Very well. I accept your bargain, amigo. Now be very careful with that gem. Ah, check and mate, Flavio! I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no! You can talk your way out through any dale, I say. Now you take this. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. So Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us all, but for now we sail. I like how the Skull Gem really came to have like, an important meaning. That was pretty cool. Even Flavio had turned out to be useful in the end, eh? Oh, you guys all came in. Hey, we're coming too. Let's take them. Come on, all for one, guys. Oi, I ain't let no Flavio fancy pants hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. 
It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters! Ho ho ho! That's a pretty boss sale. Buh, buh, buh. I got ammo to spare! How's that for Boom Boss a Boom? You fire cannons here without my permission? You have nerve, mortal. WHAT THE- That's seriously one of the most epic parts of the game. <laughs> and look at how many sprites are being rendered on the screen at one time. Amazing. Grr! I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean! Hear my voice, spirits! Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. <laughs> oh, this is epic. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cat. Well, Magnus Von Grapple was simple enough, but now we just fight Lord Crump again. Buh, buh, buh. I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. Buh, enjoy. So, we've got to deal with the x knots who are making, like, a fence between us and Lord Crump. But, Power Smash can take care of them real quick. Oh, and a Stage Light squashes Lord Crump. So, we fought him at the very first battle that was before we had Goombella, so we do have to tattle on him. That's Lord Crump, not this guy again. Ugh. Max HP is 30, attack is free, and defense is zero. He just attacks normally, so don't worry about him too much. But those x knots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get Crump! So Lord Crump is a pretty easy boss. So you'd think, at least. But he's got quite a few tricks up his sleeve. Well, we got quick change. Might as well take advantage of it. So we can deal a decent amount with our jump just because of our Power Plus badge. And with two turns of Yoshi, I think we can uh, deal a hefty amount of damage to him. I actually hope this doesn't... Oh, no, come on! Well, let's see if this works. Of course. If it matters, it won't hit. Okay, I didn't want to skip the last portion of the battle anyways, to sh just to show how hard it is. <laughs> You're not gonna get off that easily, losers! Let's see how you like this! That ship is going to fall on his head. It's wobbling a crazy... That's not! But it missed. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. I think I would have killed him with the twice charged ground pound, if I'm honest. Oh, man, the fog. Everyone's missing in the fog. Half of those guys missed in the fog. Oh, just get rid of the fog. Thank you. Oh, we can almost kill him this turn. So we'll get to see his last attack, I think. So this is kind of like the anti-guy, or not anti-guy, general guy of the game, where he's got a lot of little guys that attack him. Take this crump. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Then he gets pretty much all his HP back. And this is where the fight gets crazy. Burg! Man, this is no good. I thought I was almost aced for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but I'm no way I'm out. Alright. Now we're gonna charge up. 
And hopefully the fog won't come. Yep, this is the attack I remember. Deals quite a bit of damage to both of us. And then he just, he gets to attack. So he's pretty good. Oh, I don't have Quake Hammer. That's a shame. Might as well keep charging. If, we get, if Mario gets rid of the X-Nots this turn, then we should be pretty good to kill him. Actually, he still has 30 HP, what am I saying? But this Ground Pound's gonna do a lot of damage to him. Yeah, that got rid of half his HP. <laughs> Man, every part of that back row is falling on us. Oh, he just summons the back again, darn it. Let's try Mini Egg. This is one of the things I haven't shown off. So it's kind of like Earth Tremor, but a lot easier to perform. And it didn't shrink anybody, so that did a flat lot of nothing. That is very hard to defend against with both Mario and your partner, because it's different timings for each of them. Alright, more crump. Hasta la vista. And he's gone for good this time. He doesn't even give us as many star points as Cortez, and he was tougher than Cortez. Man, this is getting old! How could I lose again? I hate losing! Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus! And with that, pow! I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, we whipped him! That loser won't get in our face for a while, for sure! Way to go! Eat seaweed, yar! We did it! Yeah! Eat seaweed! Save all game progress up to this point, yes! We can do a slightly longer than average episode. We'll do the peach part, even though the peach part is, um... Definitely the longest and most involved peach section of the game. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sickened me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought, we thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hand, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. TEC called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. TEC? Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, TEC. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave this room and take the elevator up, as you did earlier. So remember at the end of the fourth chapter in the original Paper Mario, we made a cake for Gourmet Guy? 
Well, we're going to do something a little similar in this one. But it's not so much a cake as it is... Well, you'll just see. You will first go into the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room, exit the elevator, and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Well, thank goodness there are no guards around, eh? <laughs> And there's a second elevator here. This place is complicated. Let's go inside. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Now, wow. Okay, how do I make it? You must first set all the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Now we get the red potion, a vividly colored potion. What kind of effect will it have? And now we get the cooking music for this part. Alright, so there are memos everywhere. Let's start reading them. Note, place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. So green and red will be on the ends. Which end? Which which? I don't know. Note, place the blue potion next to the red potion. Note, do not place the red potion to the far right. Well, it has to be on one of the far ends, so far left for the red potion it is. Green has to go on the other side. Blue has to go next to red. That leaves orange potion to go there. Are you sure they are placed to your liking? Actually, hang on. Then please set them again. I just want to make sure it was red. Place the brew potion next to the... Yep, it's gotta be that. Cool. Yes. Very well. Then please cue the button on the control panel located to the left side of the room. Next step. Please press the button where the beaker where, where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. So only when it stops, keep in mind. So it stopped there, let's fill it up. Stop there, let's fill it up. Stop there, let's fill it up. Stop there again, let's fill it up. Stop there, fill it up. Did not stop there, so we don't fill it up, but it did stop there, so we fill that up. Skip that one. Now we fill it up. Goes to the next one. Stops there. We fill it up. And here we go. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Did that all in my head. I did not set an external timer. We will see if my internal timer is working properly. By my calculations, it should be finished, but... Did it come out correctly, do you think? I think so. Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. That worked! You have done it! You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But, I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What?! That's indecent! No way! Well, fine, I guess, if it's the only way. I like how her earrings are just dangling there. And, yep, this is happening. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, first locate the disk with the recorded data. Then insert that disk into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? 
I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus's room. If you mess up the potion, I actually don't know what happens. Please tell me in the comments. What? Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Ugh, I can't talk to him. Oh man. It won't open! Drat! I must be in the wrong place. Boom. Hello, you. Oh, hello, uh... X not in a slightly different outfit. Didn't see you there. Oh, uh, the X not a researcher. He's doing a wonderful job. I like how they ha at least have the shadow on the floor, just so you can see where you are. That's a weird looking yucks. <laughs> it's like, what? This looks weird. This must be Grotus's room. Now, where's that disc? Apparently, Grotus is really into flesh eating chain chomp paradas. Found it! This must be it! And hey, we get a data disc! A disc from Grotus's room! What kind of data is on it? Um. Oh, yeah! Now I insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. It's an NES game! I did it! Yes! I did it! It's working! Apparently, that data disc has an NES emulator on it. No wonder Grotus kept it a secret. And Mario and Luigi just jumped up there. Thank you. I have been looking for that 8-bit jingle for ages. Thank you for finding it. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. There, like I was never here! It's hard to see your shadow on this shag carpet. Grotus needs better taste. Do 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 do. Excuse me, you X not there. I'm walking by. He's like, okay, this is really freaking me out. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal si instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. Yes, please put your dress back on. That's very important. This is an E-rated game. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? Can I drink a different potion? Incorrect, Princess Peach. That potion will not revert you back to normal. Okay. Boom. What a relief! I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. Find the computer room! Say, by the way, TEC, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator, thanks. I've written my message. Could you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay, take care, TEC. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, TEC. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Save all game progress up to this point. You know it. So that was a very involved Peach part, but it's time for everybody's favorite part, the part you've all been waiting for.
No one's fleeing in terror. Blech! What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the treasure, the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go for it. You know, I bet the laundry never dries around here. Oh, um, what is it? Oh, just catch one of these weirdos and make him tell you where the crystal star is. Yeek! Sh sh <laughs> hey, lady. No, no. Am I going to be turned into a pig again? I don't have that power. P -p -p -m -m -h 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 crystal star? I have no idea, really. P please spare me. I'm dreaming. Yep. Just bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. No dream, man. Hey, you crows know anything? Eek! F Ack! Oof! Ah! Oh, we can't even go to the next screen. Oh, man. Hey, you. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bob bomb somewhere around here. This... Stinks. Really? This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad! I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the Crystal Stars in one fell swoop! Hot diggity dog! Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> the luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy! You know something about the Crystal Stars, don't you? Buh? Somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, Turtle Boy? You looking for the Crystal Stars too? Sweet! This will help the Grum come back! Now then, let's get to it! You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Uh, actually it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head! Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy! Whoa, whoa there, big guy! I mean, no! Wait, what am I afraid of? You? Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> if you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troops, report! Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like taking us? <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! <laughs> Whoa! Well played! <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh! This is why I keep one of these around! Sorry, suckers! Eat this, turtle dorks! Super Bob Bomb! Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur! Watch and learn! Oh, crud. <laughs> oh, priceless Bowser. He never learns. <laughs> that was my favorite as a kid. Well, all the Bowser scenes were my favorite as a kid, but still are, as an adult. <laughs> you, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, any time you like. Ah, many thanks to you. The ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come on, everyone. Ah, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? 
They're gonna do all right here, I think. Yeah, let's break out, Mario. He didn't call me Gonzalez there. Ready, amigos? Cast off! <coughs> well, I must say, it's very nice of Cortez to just <laughs> let us use the ship at any time, and there's still a gaping hole in the side of the rock wall. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't go away. Month star, day circle, and thus our ex adventure came to an exciting end. Ah, the ship sailed smoothly on to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew ready in the dock. The time is ripe to close the journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you, Flavio. Well, Flavio's annoying, but he was a good guy. At last we return slavered in glory to my sweet hope town. Sweet Rogueport. Is that Cortez? No, that's Flavio, sorry. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, ah! Uh. But of course, you all know that, and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What? Hey, where are... Y you're all leaving already? Ah, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, ah! Uh. One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in the greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how do you say, shoot for the stars, ah? Eh? If you ever should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kill Hall Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, compadre. Comprende, sorry. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, ah. Okay, Gonzalez, that's our cue. Let's break out of here and head for the door. <laughs> and you get to see Flavio wandering, running off in the background. That's great. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. Gonzalez, that's you, bud. It's gotta be an email for Princess Peach. Okay, I guess we have time for one email before we end. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called TEC here. By cooperating with this TEC, I've managed to find some of these fiends' data. TEC is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Rock on! That princess is pretty rad, huh? Wow, we gotta get to work too. Okay, as I was saying, thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we'll probably do pretty much all the side quests that we can at this point. And who knows, maybe we'll even start the next day world. We'll just have to wait and see. Until then, have a great day, and God bless.